So you say you want an office tour of everyday tech with Steve for 2015? No, not quite. Well, I'm doing one anyway. That's right. This is the unannounced supersize office tour for 2015 for everyday tech with Steve so stay tuned now most of the stuff that you're gonna see today I've already done videos for and it's already up on the channel and I'll link uh, the video descriptions to it but if you have any comments or questions or anything please feel free to do that down in the comment section below the first up here is a pair of Logitech uh, USB speakers that I bought I bought these back when uh, Circuit City was going out of business they had a big sale on them and I picked up a couple pairs of them and I've had them for years, you know how long it's been since uh, Circuit City went out of business. So I've had them since then and they still work like a champ. They are a great pair of uh, plug and play speakers. Um, so if you're looking for something like that, you probably still find them, I think on Amazon or whatnot, but I'm not sure about the pricing. Um, like I said, I'll link the video description to this uh, down below. Next to this is one of my one of my workhorses and this is my MacBook Pro. This is a 13.3 inch um, mid, or I'm sorry, October 2011, 13.3 inch MacBook Pro. Um, I still use this, I love this. I was looking at uh, some of the specs on this and listening when they were talking about the new uh, MacBook Pro that's coming out. And here I have a computer that's almost four years old well I got it in February 2012 so it's a little over three years old for me and it's more powerful than the most current edition MacBook Pro that they have out uh, the, the smaller one uh, but anyway I still love it I use it pretty much every day and like I said it is uh, one of my workhorses over here you've got the matching uh, Logitech speaker uh, to the first one that I showed you Got a Logitech mouse. Right here, I've got a Logitech. Uh, it's another uh, computer, sort of like a computer home theater uh, entertainment system that I got uh, last summer. This one has its own uh, power source, which you see right next to it. Since it takes up uh, your headphone jack on here, it comes with another one and it works perfectly. It comes with the uh, two speakers on the subwoofer. Puts out pretty awesome sound uh, between the two. If I had to compare which sound quality is better, um, this first one here, this one here gets pretty loud, but this one, because it's got the subwoofer, better quality, uh, more bass. So, I mean, I can't really pick a winner between the two, and I use these here on my MacBook Pro. I use these here on this my iMac now this is the mid 2011 21 and a half inch uh, iMac it's the one it's a 500 gig hard drive with the uh, CD-ROM on it and again I use this every day just like I use my MacBook Pro and uh, I love it it's a powerful machine um, I wouldn't trade it in for one of the newer models at all it's nowhere near as thin and light but it does everything that I need it to do um, and I, I'm not worried about upgrading it or anything like that it's awesome uh, right in front of that I've got my iPad 4 this is the iPad uh, it's also known as the iPad with retina display haven't really seen a need to upgrade although recently I was thinking about getting an iPad mini whichever number they're on um, I really think that a smaller one, I was kind of against it at first, but uh, over time I've kind of seen the benefits of having a smaller one. But other than that, I see absolutely no reason to get rid of uh, this particular iPad. Like I said, it's the fourth generation. Um, that and the fact that it's only a 16 gig uh, size. But beyond that, there's nothing wrong with it. It's still pretty quick. It's snappy. I have no problems with it. And I use it <laughs> again every day. Take it to work with me as well. Uh, right next to that, to my iMac here, I've got a Seagate uh, three terabyte hard drive. This is where I store um, podcasts, music, videos, uh, the raw footage from 
uh, videos that I make for YouTube, I store those right on that hard drive there. And right next to that, you see the matching uh, speaker that goes with this. Um, and next to that, some office stuff. You might remember um, in my last office video, I mentioned that I had this R2-D2 cup. And I just had it sitting there before. Um, now I kind of keep my PlayStation 3 remote in it. Um, right in front of that, I've got a one of those little uh, neoprene case, uh, neoprene tablet cases. On top of that, a cloth napkin and a microfiber uh, towel. I use that to wipe down phone and computer screens and things like that. Uh, right here next to that is my PlayStation 3. I was one of those who, yes, I did get a PlayStation 4, but I saw no reason to get rid of the PS3 because there's a lot of things that you can still do on it that you can't do on the PS4, such as viewing media from external hard drives. You can listen to CDs, <laughs> among lots of other things. But yeah, I saw no reason to get rid of it, and it still works like a champ to this day. Uh, right next to that is you might remember this from the channel this is my playstation gaming monitor comes with a pair of uh, 3d glasses and it's able to play 3d movies um this is an awesome uh piece of tech that i picked up for a really low price um and there's very few of them out there today i think sony discontinued them but it's a really good uh pickup all right down in front of that, there's a game, actually, one of my favorites, Uncharted 3. And I've got the uh, Camouflage PS3 gaming controller. And right down here, I've got a Logitech keyboard. Now, you might remember this. This was also on my channel a few months ago. This is the uh, Solar Powered, I believe it's the model K750 has all of the functionality of a regular Apple keyboard and it also comes with a number pad and so you gain uh, functionality there as long as you're able to uh, draw light or this thing is able to draw light it will work I got it out of the box uh, the day I got it wasn't even half charged and to this day it's never been fully charged and I've never had a problem with it um, they are they're awesome Right above that, and we got my uh, Apple Magic Mouse. This, of course, came with my iMac, and that's pretty much it for what's on my desk. So, as you can see, this is um, this is an L-shaped desk, and it takes up a lot less space than the previous desk that I had in here. Um, that's it, and then right here on the side, I've got a, and around the front, I've got a curtain. Uh, kind of hides my cable clutter and storage stuff that I have down there. But right above here, uh, there's a few other things that I have. This lighting is not the best here, so I'll just move around this way. Um, started collecting sideshow collectibles. So up here you've got, uh, I've got four of them. I've got uh, Luke Skywalker, uh, Rebel Commander, uh, Bespin Outfit. Next to him, I've got Qui-Gon Jinn. Uh, down a little further here, I've got another loop. This is from the end of Episode 4, A New Hope, after he destroyed the Death Star. And right next to that is Han Solo in his uh, Rebel Captain outfit um, from The Empire Strikes Back, Episode 5. So that's all I have as far as Sideshow Collectibles. Uh, right below that, I've got poster which lists the names of Jesus and another little placard here that talks about um, high priests in the Bible and then below that I've got a list of prayers for children for your prayers you can pray for your children on the end here I got a couple pair of headphones a pair of right here a pair of Sennheiser HD 203s um, I don't think I did a review on these, but these are really good uh, pair of headphones. Right here, I've got a pair of Nakamichi 
uh, KG850, and those, I just did a review, those are up on the channel, but like I said, they will be linked down in the description below. And rounding out my office over here, um, got a bookcase now, on top of that. <laughs> um, on top of that, you can see we have the Millennium Falcon from Star Wars. And as you come down, books, books, and more books. So this is the camera that I use. This is a Canon Vixia HFR 300. This is what I normally use to record my uh, video on. Uh, but today, obviously, I'm not using it. In case you're wondering, I am using the iPhone 6 Plus. Um, so that was not laying on my desk and you didn't see that when I went around It's because that's what I'm recording on But like I said normally this is what I use the Canon Vixia um, I've had this now for about a year year and a half uh, There's a video on the channel and of course it will be linked down below So there you have it. That's my current office setup again. This is early 2015. That's my setup uh, Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below uh, let me know what your office setup looks like. Uh, include your video link down in the comment section below so I can check yours out as well. Please do remember to hit that like button, share it, and please do subscribe. And I will catch you in the next video. Peace.